1944's major upset. Before the game, Navy was rated six touchdowns better than the free fighters. Committee ball, Jim Pettit lugging it when he fumbles. Joe Partington scoops it up for the cloud busters and races for home with Navy's Joe Sullivan right on his heels, but he can't tag him, and it's 55 yards to a touchdown. Al Hamburg punts for the Navy. Otto Graham, 1943 All-America star of the game, is on the receiving end. And running back to kick with three minutes left to play, and the score tied. He tilts the lateral to Frankie Ash and Brenner, and Frankie races downfield with the winning touchdown. North Carolina free flight 21, Navy 14. Irish in Bay Boston, where they're asking, has anybody here seen Kelly? Well, you're looking at him now, brother, and watching go right through Dartmouth for 51 yards. Boy, it's Kelly, sure enough. He grabs the pass and is forced out of bounds just short of a score. Then to it, plunges over for the first Irish touchdown. Let's look at Ohio State's great unbeaten team as they play host to Great Lakes. Off like a bullet, Flanagan of Ohio State finds the going distinctly to his liking. He's filled after picking up 60 yards. The all-powerful Army team invades New York Polo Ground. Cadet Glenn Davis and a dazzling burst of speed soars against the Blue Devils of Butte. Champaign, Illinois, an inspired Illinois 11, almost upset Notre Dame. Here's the Illini's Buddy Young, and just watch that lad lug 